So I wanted to do this video because I switched Halo. I switched her food again. We have switched her food so many times since she was a puppy that I think she has tried every high-end food that you can buy on the market. <laughs> She's allergic to everything. So it's kind of been a struggle for the three years of her life on the food. You probably have seen, I have probably about two or three different videos, um, updates on how to feed a pit bull. Well, this is going to be my last one. Um, I switched her to the barf diet, the bones and raw food. I know it's controversial. Uh, a lot of people say yes. A lot of people say no. I don't care what anybody says. I'm doing it. I've done it. And I've never felt more happy and better about it and uh, about anything in my life. Uh, for the past year, I had been looking into it because we've had so many problems with her. I mean, we've had some, she's been on some food that has really messed her up, uh, her whole body, you know, so it's just been like a trial and error type thing for her, and, and we've gotten her down to the dry food, we're paying $60 a bag for it, and it's not even the biggest bag you can buy, and it has nothing, it's like, for the most sensitive allergy prone dogs, I mean, it's like nothing, it's when I was reading the label the other day, it was like mostly all supplements. Dogs aren't supposed to have supplements. I'm sorry. Anyway, she's still having issues with it. And Monday, I was cleaning the floors. I had to uh, steam clean, or not steam clean, but uh, shampoo the carpets in my bedroom from her licking. Constantly licking. There were like little white spots, I guess, maybe from the enzymes or whatever in her saliva that I had spots all over my carpet. I mean, it was covered. It was like, I can't believe this. This is awful. We were, we have been constantly for the past month or so been yelling at her to stop it, to stop it because she's just licking herself raw, licking her butt, licking around the base of her tail, uh, itching on her, her face, little bumps on her face, little bumps on her back, uh, going at her feet, just itching, just like miserable, and it, it's just so heartbreaking, and it's like, what am I going to do? So about a year ago or so, I had asked my husband if he would go for it and he was like no we are not doing that blah 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 well it's he's realized over the past 12 months or so okay something's got to give we got to do something so I have been researching it then he I got him into researching it and so for the past uh, couple months I have been heavy heavy into researching it trying to get a meal plan started and just just do it right um, so like I said, after Monday, I cleaned the carpets. I had Halo out on the back porch, and I had the window open, and I heard her licking. So I got up and looked to try to stop her from licking. And right as I did that, she slid. She scooted her butt across the back porch, and I guess the splintering from the woods just tore her open. When she stood up, she had bloody abrasion. She wasn't dripping blood or anything, but you know, like when you skin your knee, the blood comes to the surface and the abrasions. She had abrasions all around her butthole and down by, you know, around the sides of her vagina. The whole area was just raw. And I was like, that is it. I will not ever feed her commercial dog food again. I'm done with it. I am so done with it. I prayed so hard about it. God, what do I do? What do I do? Is this the right thing? Guide me. Lead me to buy the right food, to do the right thing by her. And she, She's my companion. She is the love of my life. She's my dog I got after my cancer. And she deserves nothing but the best healthy life that I can give her. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I did. So Monday, we went cold turkey. I told my husband, I called him what to buy. He stopped by the store. He bought it, came home, and bam. She took to it like it, like she was supposed to. Some dogs will turn their nose up at it or be like, what is this? She didn't do that. She went in on it, and I was the... I felt like a proud mother. I never felt so good about anything in my life. And for the past couple of days, um, like Tuesday 
and today's Wednesday. I have not screamed at her to stop licking. She licked a couple times because she's healing up, but um, I have such a good feeling about it. So I just wanted to share this video with you because I have been recording everything since we've done this since Monday. Today's only Wednesday, three days now, but everything's been going smooth, exactly as planned, and um, yeah, I'm going to document it and show you uh, what's going on and how I feed her and how I came up with the menu and all that good stuff. Say bye.